Hey everyone, Eric here. And today we're going beyond SketchUp Desktop so that I can show you just how quick and easy it is to create scaled floor plans and sections using layout. So for some of you, this might feel like a bit of a refresher, but it's really important to kind of go over the process of going from 3D here behind me to 2D, because there's a few things we need to make as decisions along the way, from styling to scale, to putting it on the right layer, to working with the boundaries of the viewport. So what we want to do is cover that whole process from start to finish, and we're going to do it two ways. We're going to do it both in plan and section. So let's get to it. I've got my model and my layout here. We actually kind of, let's start like all things before we get into 2D, let's start in 3D. I just kind of want to show you what we're starting with. There is, uh, this is an office floor plan that it worked on. I used for one of our SketchUp Campus courses, our CAD to SketchUp course. And you can see I've got no scenes, so it's pretty simple, it's pretty basic. One thing I want to do is first think about before I go to layout, I don't have to do this, but if I want to change the style, this would be the spot to do it. I've only got one style in it. I like my floor plans black and white. I think this color is cool, but it's not necessary for when I'm printing in black and white eventually. So I'm going to change that to black and white. My AO is showing everything looks good. So what I want to do is just update my style or create a new one. That way I'll have that choice when I get into layout. I can choose that style or it'll just be showing if I save it to a scene. Second thing I want to do is I want to come over here and because I'm going to do a floor plan, I want to add a section plane. So let's put a section plane and I'm going to use the up arrow key to make sure that I'm cutting straight um, from the top down. And then I'm going to bring this down so that it's cutting through the windows and doors. And the reason for that is because they'll read a little bit better as windows and doors if I cut through them rather than cutting through the ceiling above where you might not be able to see that that actually is a doorway. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to toggle that off. And um, I've already got some style settings. You know, I have my section fill shown. Of course, you can always go in and, and get that style figured out exactly as you want. But this is kind of all I need to do in order to make sure that I am good to go to layout. So let me come over here. I'm going to save that. Speaking of layout, now there's a couple ways I can go. Um, we can go to layout. We can come over here and we can go file, find, send to layout. Now that will open up layout if you don't already have it open automatically, and it'll add a default scene or viewport for you on the first page. Now, I actually have this file that I've been playing with, around with. It's a template file, so I have all my fonts and I have some auto text and scales and stuff set up. So the fact that I've already got a blank page here, let's just go ahead and use this. So what I want to do is navigate. I'm going to navigate to my desktop. You can't see me, but I'm going to drag and drop that floor plan that we just showed a second ago. And there it is. So by default, there it is. It's a plan. It's not showing my section cut. So what I may have to do is because I've been playing with this, I'm just going to go ahead and reset everything. So I want to reset the camera angle, reset any style overrides or anything that I might have done when I was playing around earlier. And so we're back to exactly what you'd get if you said file, send to layout. So here we are. You can see I've got a, my viewport. You don't have to do this, but if you do have like guides or margins that I like, I like to keep those on a tag that I or a layer that I can turn off. Sometimes that's helpful. It'll get you, uh, allow you to place it where you want it and snap to those guides. But I don't really want to change. You can see I'm changing the scale, but I need to make it a plan view and give it a scale first before I worry about where exactly it fits on the page. So let's do that now. I'm going to come over here to the SketchUp model section. And then in, because I have no scenes uh, saved in my model, that's OK. I just want to make sure that I choose from the standard views to top. So I want to be looking straight down. And then I also want to make sure that I have ortho on. So you can see right now there's a perspective. We're in perspective mode. So I'll choose ortho. So that gets rid of that perspective mode. And then this last thing I want to do is make sure if it's not already chosen by default, if it's not already on, is to choose preserve scale. So preserve scale means that if I change my viewport boundaries, you can see it doesn't change the scale of the plan. If I did not have that on and I changed the viewport boundary, you can see that this plan is shifting, it's getting bigger, and it's sort of responding to that boundary. So I want to preserve that scale. 
and now I can move the boundary and I don't have to worry about the scale changing. Now we don't have a scale yet, but that's the next step. Right now, it's just some random number. I have to figure out a scale that I like that fits the page. So I could try something like one inch equals 40 feet, a little small, one inch equals 30 feet, still too small, um, one inch equals 10, too big. You know, see where I'm going here. One inch equals 20 is probably for this size of a plan, um, for this office space works. And because I have preserved scale, because I already did that, I can just go ahead and adjust these boundaries to where I want it. Again, if I want to, I can use my guides so I can snap things into the right place. But for me, it's okay. This is kind of floating on the page. So it's probably okay that I don't use them here for this example. So from here, this is where, depending on how you work, if you, if you are brand new to layout, then this could be helpful. If you already have an existing workflow, go with that. But I wanted to, I have a tag called SketchUp Model. So I want to make sure that this viewport that I brought in, I'm going to move this to the SketchUp Model layer that I've created. And the reason why is because it sits at the very bottom. So anything else that I draw on top of it will sit on top. The other thing too, it does allows me to do is under my Layers panel here, I can go ahead and toggle the lock on and off. And then that way if I try and hit Delete on my keyboard, you can see I can't actually do anything. Everything just stays preserved. And that helps me because when it's time for me to come in and say put some callouts or some leaders, I can do that. So I'll put a couple of these on here. I'm not going to do all of them. You get the idea, but there we go. So I can go ahead and place those and I don't have to worry about accidentally deleting my model. And then of course it's independent from the model. So if I turn my model off for some reason, I'll still have all my text and callouts and graphics and leaders. And let's put a section plane on there. I'm going to cut a section, speaking of which, once we have our scale, I'm going to see one inch equals 20 feet. That was the one we went with. So there we go. That's how quick and easy my floor plan is done. But speaking of scale, like I said, or speaking of sections to scale, there's one more thing we need to do before we can get a section. For example, if I was to unlock this viewport, come over here, copy it, pop over to my next page, which is my section page. I'm going to paste that. You'll see it'll paste right in place. Now, if I go to change the scene, instead of top view, you can see that I can pick front view. But the problem with the front view is that it doesn't, it's still showing the section cut that I put when I was looking at it in plan view. Now, that's not helpful when I'm looking, when I want to look straight on. So this is where we need to pop back into SketchUp. If you haven't already set your model up, I'm going to turn on view. I want to see my section planes. And then I want to come over here and go tools. And I want to go section plane. And then this time what I want to do is just kind of cut one right here in the front, like I'm cutting through like this front conference room area so that I can kind of see the relationship of the rooms to the sort of outdoor deck. And you can still see the columns and stuff. So that's good. What we're going to do is turn those off. So view, section planes, camera, parallel projection. And this would probably be a good opportunity to set the camera view here, because what we can do is we can save that to a scene. So scenes, add that. And if you want to, good habits, give it a name, section. Now, I don't like the background here. I can I may be able to override that in layout, but if you have the option, again, make sure you have everything looking the way you want it here in SketchUp. And of course, there are some override options once we get into layout, but that's pretty much all I need to do. See, I need to, the reason why we're doing, why I save that to a scene is because the sections, they are remembering which scene. So you, I need to basically make sure that this is the active section cut, the one that's cutting through the front, and that that then is stored somewhere. So now that's stored there. So when I save my view, I'll go File, Save, right? We pop back over into Layout. And then if I update the model, so update the model reference, what you're going to see is there it is. Now, all of a sudden, if we looked at either the last saved SketchUp view or if we moved it to section, then all of a sudden we are good here. 
So from there, what I want to do is probably change the scale. This is a little small if I use that same one inch equals 20. So I'm going to maybe go up to something like uh, maybe switch to an architectural scale at this detail, one fourth inch equals a foot. And now I have to adjust this boundary. That's okay. Uh, this is where this is where it gets a little bit fun because depending on the size you want, now I'm going to split this. You can see that I'm not going to be able to fit this all on one page. I'm going to have to split this into multiple pages. But really where I'm more interested in is sort of the relationship between the deck, which is kind of right about here, sort of the relationship between the deck and the conference rooms. And if I don't like what's happening, you can see that there's a stairwell that's popping up in the back. I'm just going to use the viewport to clip that out. And lastly, if I want to show a thicker ground plane, which I don't have in the model, this might be, again, this is sort of your, your choice of figuring out whether you want to come in here and maybe add a nice fat stroke, like something like a 15 or a 20 pen weight, and shift that down so that it sits just below my SketchUp model. And from there, we are ready to annotate, you know, add some dimensions. I mean, that's how quick and easy it is. I go there to there and maybe do like um, just a really quick dimension string by double clicking and make sure I get each one of those conference rooms measured. And there we go. I'm ready to add some more details, add some people from my scrapbook, add some call outs and some leaders. So from there to my floor plan, you can see I've got my floor plan and I've got my section and that's just how easy it is there's two different scales there's two different pages and it's all just that kind of uh, not just easy but also fun i love the I, I love setting this up i love styling it exactly the way i want and i hope that you agree i'm going to put a ceiling on there otherwise i'm going to feel like it's unfinished and there is my ceiling I'm going to stop there because I can keep going. I mean, I love going into layout. I love the control that I get with being able to change strokes and fills and add patterns and dashes. And of course, the more that you layer the information in that sort of explains this drawing, uh, the more rich that it gets. But for this video, all we wanted to do was go from SketchUp and to layout. Set it to scale. Think about whether you want that section plane or those section cuts and where they want to go. And that's it. Everything else is just sort of almost like um, the style and the amount of detail that you want to show for your drawings. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to say thanks as always for watching. If you learned something new in this video, even just one thing, give us that thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, do that so you get all the notifications of all the videos, especially our live streams. And if you want to play with this model, the one that I'm working on here, that was used as the basis for our CAD to sketch up. So think about going from 2D to 3D instead of what we just did, 3D to 2D. So I can show you that. I'll put a link in the description. That is a free course on SketchUp Campus. You can play around with this model, see how that process, how this model was built. I'm going to say thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you next time.